everyone. So this week I just have a vase and I filled it with some normal tap water and I'm going to use it to show how you can change the direction a light wave is travelling in. This is a process called refraction and is a consequence of the light travelling into different materials. So did you spot what happened when I pulled the glass jar of water in front of the arrow? Originally it looked like it was pointing to the left, but when I looked at it through the water it seemed to change direction and looked like it was pointing to the right. All materials have a property called the refractive index. This is a dimensionless number and it describes how a light wave will be altered when it goes between different materials. In our case we've got the light initially travelling through the air. Now when it comes across the boundary between the air and the glass, well the glass is a higher refractive index than the air. This means that the light will go slightly slower through the glass, but as a consequence it also bends inwards, so it changes its direction of travel. Now when it comes across the boundary between the glass and the water, well the water is a lower refractive index than the glass, so now the light can speed up a bit, but again it also changes direction, now it bends outwards before zooming off through the water. And it's these changes in refractive index that alter the speed the light can travel at and also cause it to change direction, which means that I see an inverted arrow when I look through the water. Interestingly, when I use a square vase filled with water, I don't get the same effect. The arrow still points in the same direction. And this is all to do with how the light rays are hitting that initial surface of glass. When I bring back in my curved vase, then again I get that nice arrow inversion going on. If you know the refractive index of your material, it means you can predict which way the light will travel as it goes from one material to another. So you can have all sorts of fun with this. Here I've written a word back to front, and it's only when you look through the water that you can actually read what it says. Well, that's it for another week. Thank you so much for watching these videos, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!